Lagrangian of a mass spring damper system. We have the following system shown here on a figure. We have a spring with stiffness k parallelly connected to a dashboard with constant c. They both are connected sequentially to a mass m. We can pull this mass m in a horizontal direction and we will define this displacement along horizontal direction by x. So, which parameters we have here? The first one displacement x, mass m, spring stiffness k, and a damping constant c. First of all, let's derive Euler Lagrange equations describing the motion. We start uh, with importing, importing the package for the, for the symbolical computation. And add this line to enable printing. Now we have to define all the parameters, all the, all the variables we are using. So we have time t, mass m, spring stiffness k, dashboard constant c. And we define them as the following symbols. So t is t, m, k, c. However, we have also here displacement x, but our displacement x is a function of t, so we have to define it in the following way. x Sorry. So, let's start uh, with the kinetic energy. Uh, our moving mass m possesses a kinetic energy, which can be found as 1 over 2 times mass m times velocity squared. Velocity is the time derivative of displacement, so it is x dot. x dot. t is equal to 0 0.5 times m times x dot. So, we write it in the following way. x and derivative with respect to time t and squared. The spring possesses potential energy which can be written as 1 over 2 times spring stiffness k times displacement squared. So we write it as v is equal to 0, 0,5 times k times x the function of t squared. Now we can find Lagrangian in the following way. So let's write it L is equal to t minus v. Yeah. So if we don't have any external loads, basically we already found Lagrangian, we can find all the Lagrange equations. However, we have here a damping. So, if we have any external loads or damping, then we have to additionally include them in the Euler-Lagrange equation. In order to do it, first let's write down the energy of a damper, which can be found as 1 over 2 times uh, constant c and times velocity uh, x dot. So, d is equal to 0 0.5 times c times now uh, x dot, we will write it x as a function of t with respect to t squared. So now we can write Lagrange equation of motion. Uh, these two terms, the first two terms, uh, we, use, we have them when we don't have any external loads. And this term comes from the external loads or damping. derivative of L with respect to x dot x t diff t and then we have to take a time derivative of it we write diff with respect to time so this is the first term 
to this term then minus second term we write uh, derivative of L with respect to X div L with respect to xd so this is the this was our second term and now comes third term plus derivative of d with respect to x dot so x d div d and this all is equal to zero so we have to add here equation is equal to zero so this is so now, now we found all the derivatives and this is our Euler uh, Lagrange equation describing the motion of the system so now we have to find uh, solution of this equation we can find it analytically using function d solve and here in the bracket we just have to give so this part is our equation and run it so this is the solution x t x is a function of t so we found the uh, displacement as a function of t this displacement t so now um, now let's print our solution so that we will be able to plot it later. So our solution will be this guy. But we need only we need to plot only the right part of it, so we write print solution right hand side. Yeah this. So we will use this now this uh, equation to plot it later. So first of all, let's define some parameters which we have here. We have C1, uh, let's give it some value 1. We have C2, we can also give it value 1. We have dash pot constant C, it can be written as, I don't know, 0, 1. And we have a spring stiffness K, let's write it 10. And mass can be written as 1. This is just an example. So now we have we can plot it. We write plot. We copy this expression, insert it into brackets, and add the time domain which would like to plot. Time t is equal to from zero till ten. This is an example. Run plot. So this is our plot. X axis is time t. Y axis is our uh, displacement xt. So now we can play with the parameters to see how they affect the motion. We can, for example, increase the damping and we see that as we increase it, uh, the amplitude of oscillations it will be decreasing uh, much faster. We can also change um, stiffness, K. If we increase it, we see that oscillations, uh, the frequency of oscillations is in, in, increases. Now we see it. We can also change mass M and we see that if we increase the mass, the frequency of oscillations decreases.